If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. The Shenzhen Auditorium buzzed with anticipation on May 19, 2025. All eyes were fixed on the stage as Huawei's CEO revealed a sleek, foldable laptop. This wasn't just another product launch, it was a statement. The device opened smoothly, revealing Harmony OS, now running on a PC. The CEO spoke of a new era for Huawei, one of resilience and innovation. Behind him animation showed phones, tablets, watches and now laptops all seamlessly connected. Information flowed effortlessly between devices demonstrating Huawei's vision. Applause filled the auditorium, not just for the products but for the audacity of the vision. To understand Huawei's move, we need to revisit 2019 when the US government placed Huawei on its entity list. This action cut off Huawei from key American technology, including Google's services and eventually, Microsoft Windows. Temporary licenses allowed Huawei to use Windows for a while, but these were always uncertain. In March 2025, the final license expired, no more Windows for new Huawei laptops. Huawei faced a stark choice. Stop making PCs or find a new path. The switch to Harmony OS wasn't just strategic, it was survival. US sanctions, meant to curb Huawei's influence, instead accelerated China's push for tech self-reliance. Losing Windows was the final push Huawei needed to fully commit to its own OS. The company's hand was forced, but it responded by building a complete alternative to the American software ecosystem. This is a clear example of how politics and technology are now inseparable. The sanctions, intended to weaken Huawei, ended up fueling China's determination to control its digital future. For Huawei, Harmony OS became not just a backup, but the foundation of its PC business. The move was risky, but necessary. It marked the end of an era and the start of a new one. The world's most popular desktop OS was gone from Huawei's lineup, replaced by a homegrown challenger. The company's survival now depended on making Harmony OS a success. The stakes couldn't be higher. This was more than a business decision. It was a turning point for China's tech industry. The world watched as Huawei took its fate into its own hands. The age of dependence on Western software was over. Harmony OS wasn't born overnight. Huawei began developing it in 2012 as a secret backup, anticipating possible exclusion from American software. Initially, Harmony OS targeted the Internet of Things, smart speakers, TVs, car dashboards, not PCs or phones. Its first public debut was on a smart TV in 2019, a safe space to test and refine the system. The TV launch proved Huawei could build a smooth, functional OS from scratch. In 2021, Harmony OS made its leap to smartphones, directly challenging Android and iOS in China. The system's strength was ecosystem connectivity, phones, TVs and tablets working as one. Harmony OS's user experience became uniquely Huawei, even as it evolved from Android roots. By 2025, Harmony OS had reached its most ambitious form, Harmony OS 5, or Harmony OS Next, running on PCs. This version reportedly shed all Android code, becoming a truly independent platform. What began as a backup plan became the core of Huawei's product strategy. The journey from IoT to PC shows Huawei's patience and strategic foresight. Harmony OS is now the foundation of a new digital ecosystem. Years of quiet development had paid off. The company's vision was finally realized on the biggest stage. The backup plan had become the main event. Harmony OS's success on smartphones is the backbone of its PC ambitions. In early 2025, Harmony OS phones overtook Apple's iPhone in China, capturing 19% of the market. Chinese consumers embraced the homegrown OS drawn by both patriotism and quality. Millions already use Harmony OS phones making the transition to Harmony OS laptops seamless. This network effect gives Huawei a massive head start. No other new PC OS has such a built-in user base. Harmony OS's super device feature lets users link phones, TVs, and tablets into one virtual hub. Start a video on your phone, finish it on your TV, or use your tablet as a second screen, all with a tap. This seamless integration has been a hit, driving loyalty and trust. Huawei proved it could build a popular reliable OS in a market dominated by giants. Now it aims to repeat that success on PCs. The question isn't whether Huawei can build a good OS, it's whether it can redefine the PC experience. The answer will shape the future of Chinese computing. The momentum is real, and the stakes are high. 
Apple's ecosystem is legendary. iPhone, MacBook, iPad, and watch all work together seamlessly. Huawei is now building its own version for China with Harmony OS. The goal erase boundaries between devices, making them function as one. With Harmony OS, you can drag a photo from your phone to your laptop or transfer a video call between devices without interruption. This is Huawei's super device concept, now extended to PCs. The unified ecosystem is a major selling point, especially for users already invested in Huawei products. Apple showed that people value convenience over raw specs. Huawei is betting Chinese consumers will agree. It's not just a laptop, it's entry into a connected digital life. By controlling hardware and software, Huawei gains independence from Western tech giants. This is both a user convenience and a strategic defense against future sanctions. Harmony OS is Huawei's digital fortress, foundation, walls, and gatekeeper. The company is determined to control its own destiny. The ecosystem play is Huawei's answer to Apple's dominance. No OS succeeds without apps, and Huawei knows it. For Harmony OS PCs, Huawei is ensuring over 2,000 essential Chinese apps are available at launch. WeChat, QQ, DingTalk, and WPS Office will be pre-installed, covering messaging, collaboration, and productivity. WPS Office offers a strong alternative to Microsoft Office, easing the transition for users. Harmony OS PCs can also run thousands of mobile apps natively, instantly expanding the software library. This blurs the line between mobile and desktop, solving the app gap that plagues new platforms. The focus is on Chinese users. Western apps like Adobe or major PC games likely won't be available. For China, this tailored ecosystem is a major advantage. For international users, the lack of global apps is a barrier. But for Huawei's core market, the app strategy is solid. Harmony OS is built for the needs and habits of Chinese consumers. The software foundation is strong and growing. While Harmony OS is all about independence, hardware details remain unclear. Will Huawei use Intel, AMD or its own Kunpeng processors? If x86 chips are used, dual booting windows could be possible appealing to power users. But Huawei may lock down the bootloader pushing users to fully embrace Harmony OS. If Huawei opts for ARM-based chips like Apple's M-series running Windows becomes nearly impossible, this would deepen Huawei's self-reliance, optimizing hardware and software together. Dual booting would offer flexibility, but might undermine Huawei's ecosystem strategy. The company's goal is clear. Get users invested in Harmony OS, not offer an easy escape to Windows. The hardware choices will reveal how open or closed Huawei's PC ecosystem will be. For now, these questions remain unanswered. The answers will shape the appeal of Harmony OS laptops for tech-savvy users. The next move is Huawei's. In China, Harmony OS is a triumph of self-reliance. But in the West, skepticism reigns. Security concerns persist. Critics fear Huawei's ties to the Chinese government could mean backdoors or surveillance. As a result, Harmony OS laptops are unlikely to appear in US or European stores anytime soon. Western governments see operating systems as sensitive with deep access to user data. Huawei denies any intent to spy, but suspicion lingers. Some analysts predict China may eventually mandate Harmony OS for government and state enterprises, tightening digital control. This could further isolate Chinese users from global tech standards and raise censorship concerns. For Huawei, the very sanctions meant to contain it have fueled suspicion of its new system. Harmony OS is seen by some as part of China's state-controlled tech apparatus. Overcoming this great wall of doubt is Huawei's biggest international challenge. For now, Harmony OS is a platform built for one nation. Huawei's Harmony OS PCs mark a turning point for global tech. In China, this move could reshape how millions use computers, creating a seamless integrated ecosystem. If successful, it could accelerate China's tech independence and set a new standard. But it may also fracture the digital world, no longer one universal OS but two competing tech spheres. Harmony OS is unlikely to succeed in the West but it could find a home in Belt and Road countries seeking alternatives to US tech. A new digital Silk Road could extend China's influence across Asia, Africa and Latin America. The launch is a high-stakes experiment born from geopolitical conflict and national ambition. It asks does the world need another computer OS? In China the answer is yes. For the rest of the world the answer is uncertain. But the era of a single dominant OS is ending.
Huawei has drawn a new line in the digital sand. The tech world is watching to see what grows there. The future of computing may never be the same.